right. Okay, let's watch this one. Here we go. Now Chelsea, new Chelsea manager. All the details on Potter. Fucking stupid that they fucking did took a whack uh, away. I mean, Tuchel gone pretty much. But yeah, fucking stupid, man. It is what it is. Totbolly had four candidates in the list. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here for an important update because Chelsea have now a new manager, Graham Potter, to Chelsea. Here we go. Let's jump into the details. Why is he saying, bro? <laughs> These jokes, man. And so, guys, there is an agreement in principle now between Graham Potter and Chelsea, an agreement on the contract and all the details of the project for Todd Bowley to name Potter as new manager of Chelsea Football Club after the shocking uh, decision to fire Thomas Tuchel in the morning after a really poor game with Dinamo Zagreb. Todd Bowley had mm -hmm. four candidates in the list. One of the most difficult, of course, was Zinedine Zidane, who was never close, but was one of the ideas in the list. But the two concrete names were Mauricio Pochettino and Graham Potter. Pochettino was available, was open to get the job, so he wanted Chelsea. Mauricio Pochettino was ready to say yes to the project, was discussed with some intermediaries, with some agents, so it was a possibility for Pochettino uh, to uh, join uh, Chelsea as new manager, but what happened? Yep. That to Todd Bowley as priority wanted Graham Potter, so he started conversations with Brighton. Brighton uh, gave the green light to discuss with the manager, uh, and with a direct contact in London, they reached an agreement on the wall project, on the wall details of the project because Graham Potter asked for some guarantees to have some power on the market to decide together with the club in January and next summer. So it's a long-term project with a manager who did an incredible job with Brighton. He's doing fantastic and he's always been doing fantastic with Brighton in the last few years. So everything is in place. Potter wins the race and becomes the new Chelsea manager waiting to get it completed, to get it signed, but there is the agreement in principle with Chelsea. It's a really big one because it's going to be part of the revolution of Todd Bowley, not just on the manager, then it will be time to name a new director of football. So for Chelsea, there will be a complete revolution with a new owner, new president who is working on all these details. But Potter is the manager uh, he wanted, is the priority option that is going to become the new manager, the new face of Chelsea. Project is a good news also for Marco Cureia because Cureia did great with uh, Potter and now he will have the chance to uh, continue in this case with Potter at uh, Chelsea. Let's see how it will be for many other players wanted by Thomas Tuchel, but I'm sure that when you speak about top players like Fofana, like Koulibaly, there will be no problem. Obama Young was another player wanted by Thomas Tuchel and now it will be time for uh, Graham Potter to make it work, but for sure he will be also involved in the contract talks, in the contract decisions, because for Chelsea now after Rhys James, there is Mason Mount, uh, Kante, Jorginho, they need to decide, and Graham Potter will be part of this structure. So, new manager for Chelsea, Graham Potter. Here we go. And so guys, let me know your opinion on this Chelsea decision on the new yeah, manager. Man. I wait for you as always. He's the right pick. You wanted Pochettino. I wait for your opinion here in the comments as always. Like this video, turn on the notification bell. See you soon. I mean, all right, hear me up. Uh, pretty much I, what I believe is um, it's not about football, how, how Tuchel play. I mean, Tuchel is playing pretty good with, as manager for Chelsea. But um, the thing is, I think he did something in, in the thing with players. Maybe he did something, but I don't believe that it's just from the games. Because, I mean, pretty much he had good games and stuff. I mean, it's on 10 points, Man United are on 12. So, I mean, they're sixth and it's Chelsea. I mean. I don't know, man, but you know what? It is what it is. It's it's football. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Nice.